All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, David Witten here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I just want to take a quick second and thank you for checking out the video. I appreciate it. And again, if you're someone who's been here before, uh, your continued support is greatly appreciated. Uh, so what are you going to see uh, on my channel? Basically, what you see is myself uh, exercising, training, working out, whatever word you want to use to describe being physically active. That's what I do. Uh, I do it for a few reasons. One, to be better uh, and stronger physically. Uh, then be stronger mentally and then of course the third uh, benefit that's kind of come over the last few months is that I've found that I've been able to be an encouragement to people uh, on YouTube that I've never met before and that's been an awesome experience so one I'm grateful for. So what are you going to see in this video specifically? Well like I just said I like to do uh, physical exercise and some of the some of the activities or the exercises I like to do the best are, are body weight movement so uh, burpees, squats, uh, pull-ups, chin-ups, those types of exercises. And for me, um, pro perhaps the hardest uh, movement of all those is the pull-up. I've said that on my videos before, and although I can do pull-ups uh, without any assistance, I can't do them in high volumes. Like I could probably do five, six, seven, but then, you know, as a workout wears on, they become hard to do. So I just wanted to very quickly share three ways, uh, three methods or little tricks that I've used to help me get better at pull-ups. Perhaps it'll be uh, an encouragement to somebody out there and they can use them and uh, get better at pull-ups themselves. So, right to it. The first thing that, I've, uh, that I went out and did, and this was years ago, was I bought a band, a resistance band. This is just a, uh, a green, it says 50 to 125 pounds resistance. Um, so I bought that on Amazon and I've been using it for years. Uh, there was a time when I first started out a few years ago where I couldn't do one pull-up and I had to use this for every single rep. Uh, now I don't use it very much. Uh, but if you're someone who's starting out, I would highly recommend getting a band and using uh, and using this to help you. So I'm just very quickly just want to show you what that looks like, uh, and then I'll get into the to the last two. So you got the pull thread. However, you can safely fasten it around your your bar. Do so. Uh, so for me, I loop it over like that. Pull down. Get my foot in it. So then I grab the bar exactly where I want to be. And I am now right on the band is supporting me. And that makes that makes doing the uh, that makes doing the pull up a heck of a lot easier. I could uh, get full extension at the bottom, and I could get my you know my chest to the bar at the top. So it's a great way to get full range of motion. So, if you have access to a band or can order a band, I would recommend doing that. It's helped me tremendously and perhaps it can help you. But if you don't have access to a band, uh, something that I think most of us would have access to is this beautiful thing right here, a chair. Uh, a chair is great, uh, again, because you probably have it in your home and it's good for in the middle of a set. So say if you're trying to get 10 reps done and you get to five maybe six and you're starting to struggle if the band is there you know you got to come off the bar and you got to get your foot into the band but if a chair is there you can simply get your foot up on it and then use it to assist you getting back up to the top so I'll take a few seconds here and just show you what that looks like so you got the chair there you're in the middle of your set so I'll do I'll do two pull-ups and then we'll just transition and get my foot on the chair so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you're going. And all of a sudden you're like, oh man, I can't do this third rep. Well, get your foot there on the chair. And then all of a sudden you can, you can finish out your set, whether you're trying to get to 10 or 12 or whatever your number is. If the chair is there, it's a lot easier to transition uh, from unassisted to assisted uh, pull-ups. Okay, so that's uh, something that, again, I think most of us would have in our homes and access to, so it's a great resource to use, in my opinion. Okay, so the, uh, the last one uh, is kind of silly, but it's honest to goodness truth. If you watched any of my videos, uh, you can look back and see that it's always been there, and it's been there always for this reason, and it's that deep freeze. I use that deep freeze all the time, so the same way I would use this chair, but I'll just take a second to show you what I mean.
So I moved it out of the way so I could get the chair in there so you could see that. But again, go back in some of my videos if you want. That deep freeze is always there. Uh, again, because I use it to help me get to the top when I get uh, tired in the middle of a pull-up set. So it's the exact same thing as the chair. You know, you're doing, you're doing a set, and all of a sudden you can't do it anymore. Well, up comes the letting down the deep freeze. And next thing you know, you're getting your chest to the bar, you're getting good range of motion, and you don't have to jump, you don't have to come down off the bar and get your foot in a band. Anyway, so those are the three things. The last one's kind of like the, the second one. I just, but it is just you just being a bit silly, I guess. But uh, anyway, just my two cents worth. Uh, I'm not a professional trainer. Uh, I'm just a regular guy who works as a police officer. And, you know, I'm, I have a family, a busy life like a lot of people out there. And I'm just trying to be better physically, mentally, and try to be an encouragement to people out there. So those are the ways that have helped me uh, get better at pull-ups. And I'll continue to use them to try to, uh, to try to be better. So let me know what you thought in the comments. If it's uh, been any use to you, go ahead and use it. Have a great day. And I uh, appreciate all the love and support. If you want to support the channel, you can certainly uh, consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and again, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Okay, have a great day, everybody. And uh, we look forward to chatting with you in the comments. And we'll see you in the next video.